In the Analysis Services Fundamentals course, I introduce the options for deployment. So in this course, I'll focus on implications of deployment for when we have a cube already in production. Now when we make changes to the Analysis Services database design, whether we're updating a measure group in a cube or changing an attribute in a dimension, we need to deploy our changes made in the development environment so that the database on the server reflects those changes. The deployment process makes a new copy of the affected files on the server, which the server uses to retrieve the current definition of database objects during processing. In most cases, this replacement of files on the server is not a problem and is precisely what we want to see happen. Although it's possible to use XMLA scripts to modify database objects, it's considered best practice to use the development environment to make design changes so that we can save our work in a source control system. However, on an ongoing basis, we might manually update roles on the server to manage security, or we might use scripts or automated processes to update these files or to add new partitions to hold newer data. In those cases, any partition or role definitions in the development environment that we deploy to the server would wipe out anything we updated on the server directly already. Therefore, it's a good idea to use the Analysis Services Deployment Wizard because one of the steps explicitly asks how to handle partitions and roles. When using the wizard, we need to be sure to pay attention to the settings. By default, existing partitions will be replaced by whatever partition definition happens to be in our development files. If we have partitions on the server that we want to keep, we need to choose the second option for partitions. That way, any partitions in our database for measure groups that already exist are ignored, and only new measure groups and their partitions defined in our development files are the ones that get deployed to the server. On the other hand, the default for roles is to deploy new roles and keep the roles already on the server intact. Our other options would be to replace all roles on the server with the roles that have been defined in the project, or to ignore anything in the project and keep the roles on the server intact.